The Biggest Loser reboot. Let's talk about it. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name's Alexis. I can hear my pets fighting in the background. My name's Alexis. I'm a certified personal trainer. I use this channel to talk about fitness stuff, to review products, talk about fashion, and talk about more stuff probably as I gain confidence. I usually like to only talk about positive things unless I'm talking about like my debilitating depression or anxiety. Sir, are you okay? I'm a little messed up. I like to stick to things that are uplifting. I don't like to talk shit. I don't like to really be negative. But I also know when something is wrong and I feel the ethical need to speak out on this thing in particular. So although it gives me anxiety, I'm gonna talk about it. The Biggest Loser, as I'm sure you all know, has been rebooted. If you remember the show in the past, it's how Jillian Michaels got her, her career going. And a lot of you probably know, hopefully know about the aftermath of that show. And it really, really hurt a lot of people. A lot of the contestants, I think it's most of the contestants, gain the weight back plus more. They say that the show like didn't teach them anything to help them sustain this lifestyle outside of the bubble of the show. They were tortured on TV for everyone to see and it just wasn't good. And when I heard it was coming back, I was very surprised and disappointed. They said that it would be different this time around. There were new faces. Steve and Erica are coaches now in the show. And so I tried to go in with an open mind, but it's literally the same show, but with two new faces and with a group therapy session. I'm glad they added the group therapy session, but that's literally like three minutes of the show. Disclaimer, well not disclaimer, just like to set the scene. I only watched one episode. I did not want to purchase, I don't have cable and did not want to purchase an episode from them. So I found an episode on YouTube I could watch for free. I still gave them a v view, but I wanted to at least see an episode before really speaking on it. So I saw episode two, cause that's the episode I could find for free. The first episode I watched a lot of clips of, so I have a pretty good understanding of what went on in that episode as well. Before I really get into it, I wanna say that none of this is any shade or nothing negative against the contestants. They are there to get healthier to make a change. They do not know better. I'm not talking about them at all. I am talking about anyone behind the show and both the coaches that are on the show. What I saw was deeply concerning and wrong in so many, so many ways. Number one, it's gonna be hard for me to organize my thoughts because I feel very passionate about this, so I am going to try to stay as organized as I can. First thing is they heartily talk about nutrition. They asked them what they ate for breakfast, which they all gave different answers. It sounded like very little food, very little fuel, and that's it. It was like literally two minutes of the show was them talking about their food and then moving on, and there was no other talk of nutrition in the episode at all. Secondly, there is an extreme emphasis on weight, an extreme emphasis on the scale. That's literally how you win, is your team needs to win the most weight percentage-wise. I'm surprised they use percentages. It's like the percentage of the overall team's weight or whatever. Steve's team did not lose more weight than Erica's team. So Erica's team won and someone on Steve's team went home. And he was so disappointed and himself and the team for not losing enough weight. Meanwhile, people on the team had lost like a shit ton of weight in just a small frame of time. 
Later in the episode, they do the weigh-in to see which team won. One man got on the scale and was absolutely devastated that he'd only lost seven pounds in a week. You should... <sighs> You aren't supposed to be losing that amount of weight that quickly. That is not sustainable or healthy or anything. It's just no. And the fact that they make them feel dejected and discouraged that he literally lost a pound a day for a week and he feels badly about that. He feels like he didn't do enough. That's already fucked. Like even if everything else was fine, that's fucked. <laughs> but that's just the beginning. The exercises they made these people do, y'all. Okay, they had them do this challenge where they had to flip a tire, flip huge tires in mud. That was their challenge. These people have no athletic background. A lot of them have never even worked out before. One of them said she said she had never run a mile before and they're all medically obese. So medically obese people should be just moving more. That should be their goal. Taking more steps throughout the day, standing more throughout the day. Instead they have these people flipping huge heavy tires in mud. Did they teach them how to brace their core properly? Did they teach them to lower their hips and use their legs to flip it over? I'm guessing not. Like, when would they have done that? You know? It's a miracle none of them completely fucked up their backs doing this challenge. No. I know it's more fun to watch them flip tires in mud. That's better TV, but that's absolutely not what's best for any of those poor people. And then they go into the gym. They're doing workouts in the gym. And there is a woman. I'm going to make sure I get this right. I wrote it down with a lot of question marks because I was like, what the fuck is happening right here? 351 pound woman who says she has previous knee injuries. They make her do a box jump. Medically obese people should not be doing box jumps. They should not be doing plyometrics in any way. They also make them jump on and off the boxes. Do you know how dangerous that is for their joints? To be doing that high impact shit. And she has prior knee injuries. She should not be jumping on and off a box. It's so dangerous. What happens if she jumps off the box and shatters an ankle or hurts her knee what then? What's going to happen then? And then this is the other thing is that these people are in a vacuumed environment where they have like medical people on hand to make sure they're safe and okay. But let's say there is an overweight person at home watching the show, seeing this, getting inspired and decide they want to do the same thing. And they go to the gym and try to do a box jump. People don't know any better. I know, and most trainers, all trainers should know, that overweight people should not be doing plyometrics, especially with no athletic background, especially with previous knee injuries. Regular people just watching the show don't know that. And how would they? This is the bullshit information that they're getting. So I think it's egregiously negligent to put this on TV and say that this is the way to lose weight. I know the show is primarily for entertainment, but damn, how do you not see that this could potentially hurt a lot of people? Not only the people in the show, those people too, but also people watching from home. How do you not foresee the problems this is going to cause? You're going to hurt someone. You're going to hurt someone. I will be shocked if there is not an injury during the show. I think I heard about there being an injury on another episode, but I didn't watch, so I don't want to speak on something that I didn't actually see. They're playing with fire, man. And those two trainers, they either know better and they sold out to be on that show because they got offered a lot of money and they wanted to make a name for themselves, so they went on that show and did it anyway, or they don't know any better and in that case, they shouldn't be coaches. Like every coach should know these bare minimum things. And I just watching it, I was just cringing. I was like, uh, my heart kept dropping. It's really bad. <laughs> it's really bad to 
put those people through that and it's even worse to put those people through that and then put it on an extremely popular network for people at home to see and think that it's what they should be doing. I think that it's also unrealistic to, to have this show where people are losing an extreme amount of weight in a very short period of time in a very isolated environment. They're not teaching them any lifestyle habits to change. They're not teaching them how to cook healthy meals, how to meal prep, how to make this fit into their lives. They're in this very isolated environment on extreme restricted calories and doing these insanely stupid workouts and just trying to lose a shit ton of weight in a very short period of time. And I get it, it's a show. It's not sexy to watch someone do it the healthy way. If I were to make a show about a medically obese person making a change in their life and losing weight, it would have to be over at least a year, if not more. It would be slow incremental lifestyle changes, getting up and walking more, getting up and standing more, implementing more vegetables into your diet. Those are the things they should be working on at first, not immediately tire flipping in the mud. What? And that's why it didn't work the first time around. That's why people gain the weight back and more when they leave. It's, it's not any different. Like I can't stress that enough is that it's not any different. And what really disappoints me also is that Erica lost a lot of weight herself. And she even says in the first episode that when she started to lose weight, how she did it was just walking more. She says that and then turns around and makes someone on her team literally puke. And when that's happening, Steve's going, we're not working hard enough. She's got people puking over there. No, we should not be immediately making people puke. <laughs> it really gets me fired up. I know it's supposed to be entertainment, but they don't make enough disclaimers for me to feel comfortable with this. They need a disclaimer before the show saying, this is not how you healthily lose weight. This is just for entertainment, do not, like, I need them to be way more clear and even then it would not be ethical because they're still putting the contestants through that and that's just not okay. It's just not. And they're trusting Steve and Erica to be doing what's best for them. And that's not what's best for them. It's just not. If you're really trying to help people, which I am, it should hurt you to be doing these negligent, dangerous things with these contestants. Which brings me back to they either don't know any better, which they shouldn't be coaches, or they do know better, but it sounded, it sounded cool to be on a show, so they did it anyway. Both <laughs> piss me off. <laughs> so that's it. That's my rant. Like I said, I don't like to be super negative. I don't like to talk shit, but this has the potential to do some real harm. I don't want anyone watching it thinking that that's what they should do. I don't want anyone watching it and even like enjoying it because it's willfully negligent and just bad. How do you know what's good for me? That's my opinion, of course. Um, you may disagree, but I hope it at least brought light to a few things. I don't think you can argue that having someone who weighs 350 pounds with bad knees and no athletic background doing box jumps, I don't think you can argue that that is a good idea. Comment below, let me know your thoughts. Have you been watching it? Like what, what you thinking? Give this video a thumbs up please because I think I'm gonna get some thumbs down which is gonna hopefully not send me on a spiral. I'm in therapy, I'll be fine. <laughs> I need to I need to speak out on things I, I I know are wrong and this is wrong so follow me on Instagram like subscribe if you want immediately you didn't have to watch this video and you did anyway and that means a lot so thank you if anyone in your life is watching the show or thinks that it's good maybe share this with them or share a similar video a lot a lot of trustworthy people have made videos about this thank you so much for listening to me yell in my disheveled braids have a good rest of your day exercise properly and safely okay bye